Hello, I'm Jane Lindsay and I am the founder of Snapdragon Life and the Studio Club. And today I'm here to show you how I do freehand machine embroidery and also to tell you about a giveaway on my YouTube channel to celebrate getting 200 subscribers. So first of all, this is the fabric that I am using uh, for my embroidery. It is from Rachel at Daughter of a Shepherd and it's just a beautiful, beautiful tweed and I have ironed on some interfacing on the back which just keeps it um, from stretching out, makes it a little bit easier to work. So come along and I will show you what I do. When you're setting up the machine, you need to do is you need to swap over this normal sewing needle sewing foot for this one which has an open side and kind of hovers put that one in and then these uh, feet that are the bits that drag the fabric they need to go underneath with freehand machine embroidery it's kind of almost the exact opposite of sketching with a pencil or pen Instead of moving um, the needle, what you're doing is you're moving the fabric. So you can see in the, the video here that I'm kind of just manipulating that fabric so that it goes underneath the needle. And the, the needle is drawing, but I am moving the fabric rather than the needle. The needle is just going up and up, up and down, up and down, um, as fast as I can get it to go with my feet. I began doing freehand machine embroidery about 19 or 20 years ago and at that point I tend to do it in kind of combination with a plique so I'd have my bits of fabric laid out and then I'd be drawing on top of that but gradually I began to enjoy more and more the idea of the pure line and particularly with my meadow drawings which are all based on the meadow that's outside the studio um, I like that kind of purity of form which allows me to use lots of different coloured threads and lots of directions of leaves so that you get the effect of looking through a meadow with some of the grasses falling over and some of the plants sort of growing around each other if you want to have a go yourself, then my advice would be simply to get a darning foot for your machine, um, get some nice thick felt to the feed dogs down on your machine, put your foot to the floor so the needle is going really fast, and then just play. Now, I do have a course that takes you from you know, learning how to thread your machine needle to being able to do pictures um, that you've drawn yourself. But if you don't want to do it, a set course, I would say. Have a go. Try some playing. Right, so this is how the embroidery has turned out. I have pressed it so that it's now nice and flat. You can see all of the, the poppies and the heads. Um, this is the back for people who like to see that kind of thing. And then for the YouTube video, what I am doing as the giveaway, and this is onto a piece of fold wool. It's around about the size of an A4 or a US letter piece of paper. You can see all of the poppy seed heads, the cow parsley, red berries, blue flowers. You could frame it, or you could make it into a cushion or add it to something like a quilt. And to enter the giveaway, what you have to do is to subscribe to my channel, like this particular post and leave a comment on this particular post. And then everybody that does all of those, I'm going to put you into a hat, your names into a hat, a virtual hat, and then choose somebody to send my embroidery to. You can be anywhere in the world because it's nice and light um, so I can send it off anywhere. Don't worry about that. So everybody 
is welcome to my giveaways and um, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing all of your comments and I'll just leave you with the picture of the embroidery that you might win. <laughs>